Yo, what is going on guys? And today we're doing a quick video to show the benchmark of a Ryzen 5 2600 and an RX 580 8GB. So I am on vanilla servers. Um, looks like the sun is starting to go down. Now, I've been messing around with settings and I've kind of noticed... Right, let's figure out where I am to start with. Okay, well, I think we're near the factory, right? Um, I've noticed uh, if I lower the settings to try and improve the FPS, it doesn't actually help. It makes it very stuttery. So um, we're going to just head in this direction into this build-up area. I'll we'll have a look at settings. Am I at Cherno, maybe? On the edges of Cherno? That's kind of useful. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're on. We're down with Cherno somewhere. So right now, let me uh, let me just get in a bush and I'll just in case somebody's around here trying to snipe, and I'll show you what settings we're on at the moment. Uh, let's go options video. So we're on 1080p. We're on windowed at the moment. Um, I'm gonna move that up. So we'll put that to full screen, which will improve the performance. Let's apply that. Okay, let's bring these options back up. So, we're on high on everything. Um, and we have post processing. Let's turn the post processing down a little bit because that might help a little bit. Right, so let's see where we're at now. We're not on windowed and we're heading to Cherno. See if we can just keep above 60 FPS on these high settings. But what I've noticed is if you do go to low settings, thinking obviously you're going to improve your FPS, it's not helping. It's making the game very stuttery. So we're going to run, do a little run around this industrial unit, which should tax the GPU sufficiently. As you see, we're running 100, 100, we're maxing out the GPU pretty much. CPU will probably start to get worked a bit harder once we get into here. I mean, I had it capped at 60 FPS when I first launched this. I'm not too familiar with AMD cards, to be honest. And I had to figure out how to change the cap rate on it. it took a little while, but it was very, very smooth. And so I, I think looking at this graphics card, I would probably, this graphics card, card stroke CPU combo, I probably would cap this at 60 FPS just to get that consistency. Because you can see we're now we're into this uh, area. And this is where generally the, the built up at towns are quite taxing. So we're going to do a little run through. I might play with my settings, but you can get an idea. It's a little bit stuttery. Okay, there's a dead zombie there. So somebody's around here. This is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is vanilla servers, so there's no mods. As you can see, we're maxing out the GPU pretty consistently. Dropping below that 60 FPS. I want to try and get it to be stable above 60. So let's. Oh, didn't like that. Let's. Uh, Let's drop these settings down, see if we can improve on it. Well, that was just a glitch earlier. Drop everything down one notch. Leave those on low. Let's apply that and see if we can get a smoother. See, to me, this just feels stuttery now. Maybe I've been spoiled playing on a higher end graphics card, but this feels a bit stuttery. I mean, we haven't really, considering we dropped it, we, well, we come up a little bit with the FPS, I guess, but. Let me 
mean, somewhere like this is going to be more taxing. Especially as we get into the town with the sun, the sunset rays coming through. On that, I mean, we're staying above 65, 70. Let's try and let's just hopefully no one kills me. Um, let's drop everything down to low, take it down one notch. Um, what have I done there? Low, low, disabled the hardware anti aliasing, apply. And we've lost the display there, has it gone? Back. You have a you save. Doesn't like it when I turn off the hardware configuration. So we've dropped down a little bit. Now, as far as I can tell, that's not helped. Not in the slightest. We're still getting the same FPS. Now the GPU seems to be kind of like a little bit freer, it's bouncing around, but well, this might have helped a little bit. I just still think personally I would probably cap it at 60 FPS and have my settings up a bit higher. It's just this is just feeling much stutterier, much stutter, much more stutter, stutterier. I don't know if that's even a word. Let's go back up a notch. In fact, let's go to the max, see what we can happens when we take it up to the max. Let's bring it up. Extreme, extreme, extreme. Bring that up high, high, high. Just doing that thing again. Medium, enabled. Put that on. Medium. See what that does. Okay, so we're taking quite a hit there. We've come down quite a bit. Hmm. I'm still. I want to get that consistent 60 FPS. That's what I'm looking for with this in this area. And it's just feeling stuttery to me. Let's uh, drop those to low, low. Is that going to go medium or is it going to do low? Okay. Bring this down to low. So we've got all the uh, post processing, etc., on low. See if that how that's working. Okay. That feels better. I mean, these rays, these they they are demanding on the uh, graphics card. And if I look, I was going to say, if I look the other way, does that? Maybe not. But hey, maybe it's just the lighting at the time of the day. So we seem to be hit consistently now, staying above. It's a funny old game. That's 58. I just, just, like I said, I would cap this at 60 FPS and probably put everything on high, which I'm going to try high again. That's going to be my last sort of. We're into the. I'm going to run down this street a little bit because this is where you should really notice any drops. Smooth 60 there. I'm 
Let's just drop the uh, graphics one notch. See if uh, we can bring that up just a tad. So we're on extreme. Let's bring that all down to high, 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 high. We'll leave those. Has that made a difference? sure that I've gained anything by dropping it. This is what I keep coming back to with this game. It doesn't really pay. It seems to be like stick it on extreme and just stick with it. Because we're gonna just not seeing it. I'm gonna drop it down again. I'm gonna drop it down to the lowest and see what we come up with in this down this street. And then I'm gonna go back up to uh extreme and see what we're getting so we're mid 60s there so we'll drop it down to medium we're going to leave all those the same apply continue okay so we've gained a bit of fps but it doesn't feel quite as smooth. And we are gaining FPS, but it's fairly stuttery now. This game puzzles me. I mean, I think the settings really don't allow you to tweak it too much. Drop it down again. I'm going to go down to low. And then we're going to go back up to extreme. So, it's, to me, this just feels horrible. It's stuttery, it's not right. And we're on low. We're not really getting, we're just getting a frame rate jumping all over the place not liking that at all. Let's whack it back up to extreme. Because I... This is what's making me think. I just sit either extreme or at high. Let's see if we can maintain. Cap it. Put it on extreme. Cap it. We don't really don't want shadow detail up. That's what we don't want. Because that's really not going to help. So... I haven't really lost any FPS. It feels smoother. I mean, my temp temps are all good. Hmm. This is really a puzzle. Let's put the shadow detail to extreme. See if it just wants. Ever. I'm going to try that. We're going to go back up the street. See, we're just not getting the stutter that you get from the lower settings. It's bizarre. Lost a bit of FPS. Okay, we're going to trip. We're going to go last run. We're going to put everything on high here. This is, I think, the might be the best compromise. So we're still sitting above 60 FPS. It's not feeling stuttery now. Yeah, the GPU is banging itself out 100% pretty much. But for this for this combo with this graphics card, I mean, as I said, I'm used to playing on a better graphics card and haven't really had this issue, but seeming to me like the settings don't really do too much. So... If it was me, I would probably, like I said, put everything on high, 
and cap the FPS at 60 so you're just not getting that little fluctuation which just makes it a bit more stable and that for me is probably where it's at um, what was I gonna show you yeah I was gonna just show you the settings that I think work the best so at 1080p let's just take vsync off actually quickly I'm thinking high 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 you could probably play with these a little bit so, I don't want to disable them because everything will look pretty jagged and unpleasant but yeah that to me is just about the right with there you can play with the uh, post processing and the ambient occlusion a little bit but just your general settings this is about where it's at for me I think I don't think going low is going to help you at all um, this is probably where you want to be Anyway, let's just have a look at those again, and that's what we're talking about. You can play with these as much as you like. I don't know how much is making any of these are making a difference. What I can tell you is, going to low is detrimental. As soon as you whack these down to low or medium, you're getting more stutter. Um, so high or extreme here, and that's it, really, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you like the video leave a thumbs up and feel free to sub and I'll do some more benchmarks on this game with different processors and graphics cards to follow anyway thanks for watching and now I've got to work out how to get out of this uh, because let's go back into no not custom what are we doing we want to go to window there you go apply